I finally got it in the mail. It, it, this is the Alpha and the Omega of my collection. Anybody that's collecting a Godzilla uh, or Kaiju collection or anything like that, you don't have to be a specific age or anything like that. Because really, you're not going to find something like this at a store near you at all. You're not going to find this at Walmart. I finally got it. It is the super big not, 1995 Godzilla PVC figure. And this figure is actually from China. Yeah. Shanghai, China. Yeah. This one, they came out when I opened the box. Yeah, what I noticed when I opened the box is... There was a hole inside the box, Correct. and um, I kind of like, I've ordered figures before this size, actually. They were that this damn big, but uh -huh. nobody messed with that. I mean, I, I, live in a, I actually live in a, a pretty uh, a ghetto neighborhood, but nobody messes with the stuff that, that I bought or that we bought uh, from eBay or, or uh, Amazon or anything like that. So right. my neighbors were very nice enough to leave it on the porch for me because I actually made arrangement. With one of my neighbors, so like if they seen a box that belonged to us, you know, I mean, they don't have to do that, but they were very nice enough to do that. But I just kind of noticed there was a hole in it. I kind of think that hole was pro either probably when it was in the di distribution center because the box said an, an anime fi anime figure. That's right. That you know, that is the Japanese work. Um, okay, I want to show you guys the invoice. This is all I really have to what I'm talking about. It is from Shanghai, China. The and the seller is, is the China Post. So these are probably the same people who uh, made uh, make a lot of bootleg figures, including Transformers, including the Marvel Comics or stuff like that. So, all right, let's get to the bigger review. Yeah. All right, this is by the by doubt. I I, I can I can die a happy man now that I got this guy because this is the by far the largest one of the largest figures I have in my collection. And, you know, I really don't have a whole lot yet, but, you know, I'm just trying to build it up. This is probably going to be one of the best ever. Right. All right, this one, this is from that bootleg, but some Chinatown, they, they painted it to make it exactly like that, but not much is like this. So All right. Like that. Yeah, let's, okay, let's take a look at the, let's get this figure view on the road. Um... As you can see, let's take a look at the head first. Okay. We're going to look at the eyes, the eyeballs. Okay, the eyes are kind of just painted on, and they have a, a black, with a black marker. That's right. Black pupils, and, wow. and the, the, eye, the eyelids are, are red, or kind of like an orange color. That's correct. Right. And on the movie, his eyes are actually uh, bright red and uh, black pupils. So we're going to... I'm gonna let's take a look at the, the more closer look to the head, and you can see the ears. There's actually a, you guys uh, ears right here. There's two ears on it, and and uh, the Heisai Godzilla had the uh, the ears from the original Godzilla from 1954, actually, because that's uh, by the time Heise, the Heisai uh, series started, they started they kind of brought back a little bit of. Just some of the characteristics of the original Godzilla, if you as, if you could tell. Okay, let's take a look uh, at the teeth. Yeah, take a look at the teeth. You see those teeth? They don't. They never make it right, but it looks like that. Yeah, the teeth are supposed to be actually sharp, but they're kind of like um, there's little or no. Um, the paint looks like it's just kind of it's kind of a little bit of a sloppy paint job. That's it's right. kind of just splashed on there a little bit. And what, what we're going to do, I'll, I'll tell you guys as we get into the review what we're going to do with this guy yeah. before I end this review. Okay, let's take a look at the tongue. Okay, the tongue is actually, it's pretty, it's, it looks convincing, but got the Burning Godzilla has kind of like a, a charcoal pink burnt tongue on that movie. That's right. And, and it looks pretty grotesque. And so we, we're going to try mm -hmm. to see if we can change that. That's right. Okay. With the repainting thing. First, we're gonna have to start uh, with this eye. To what color is that? Uh, it's actually uh, black pupils and red. Black pupils and red. Red eyelids. Red. Okay. And this one, we're gonna have to make a body of so red orange like this, and probably put some bang on the tooth, and then repaint it on the tongue. In supposed to be look like a barbecue. 
If you ever seen him on the movie like that, just remember, if you ever watch Godzilla vs. Destroyer on the opening, that's how he looks like in the movie. Just remember. If you want to repaint it, follow our repainted movement. Got it? All right. What, are you, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a repaint. But first, let's just let – we're going to talk about the, the figure review. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the arms. We're going to uh, – this figure has – uh, uh, four, no, I said uh, six, seven points of articulation, and it's like the head is movable. That's right. I don't think the X plus version of this figure is, uh, the head is movable, actually. No, I, I didn't see that when I watched the videos for this. Uh -huh. And yes, this figure is not fresh, but it's still awesome, and it's still vinyl, and it still makes the, um, it, it gets my approval anyway, because I am a, we are lifelong Godzilla fans here, and we're not, you right. know, we're, uh, it's, it really, this is kind of like the poor man's burning Godzilla X Plus figure. Right. It, it's not licensed by X Plus. It's not licensed either by Toho, but it's still Godzilla, and it's still awesome. All right. So, uh, the arms, as you can see, the arms are movable. That's right. Move the arms around a little bit. Just like that. All right, Nick, you want to show them the legs? Yeah. And the tail. All right, we're going to go down a little bit. And with, there's pose, not a whole lot of posability because he has quadruple wides. And uh, the rolls are just complete and massive. Okay, just think about it. If you put Braun Strowman from WWE and Yokozuna from WWE in a blender, that's Godzilla 1995, burning Godzilla. Okay, uh, let's show the, the tail. All right, I need to get kind of get out of the the camera a little bit because it's, the tail is okay. This figure 18 and a half inches long and it is 30, probably 30 inches long. I didn't actually measure it, but it, it is humongous. That's right. And all right, let's show the the length, the tail movement oh. right here. The tail moves right here as well, and. I don't. I don't think the X Plus version has that. This has a little bit more posability. It might not be as good quality as the X Plus version because this Godzilla is actually charcoal black. That's right. And on the movie, he did kind of look a little bit of a grayish, a dark grayish color. So, right. uh, and that's going to be pretty hard to try to reduplicate. But we're going to try our best, though, right? Yeah, okay? we're going to try our best. So, okay, let's take a look at the dorsal plates, and it's kind of hard to look at him because, like I said, he is just completely massive, and it just really over. This table that we have on him, he's almost about as long, he probably about as long as our table that I have him on right now. And so, then, see him in the back? We're going to repaint those in the back also, to make a red and orange together. Yeah, we're going to, it's, I don't, I don't know, I'm going to try to find a luminescent color for the uh, the red and the orange that we're gonna need, and the charcoal, you can see the charcoal black part of the of the dorsal fins of the spikes, and I'm gonna leave that at, as is because that's the way they look on the movie. So and then in the tail, that's supposed to be gray. gray. It's a it's a gray color. If you guys really want, if you guys know your Godzilla, you guys you guys watch that movie over and over again and did a lot of inspection when yeah. you saw Godzilla on that movie. Okay, so some of the things I noticed, okay, a guy on the video, uh, this guy who I talked to who did a, uh, got his own version of this, it's the same figure, but only his was missing a dorsal fin from the middle right here. It was completely taken off. Uh, it, actually, it's pretty bad quality what he showed me, but it's still, mine came with all the dorsal plates attached to them. I just want to make, just make a note of that. And there is a, Maybe you could show them, Nick. There is a. You can note. You'll notice there is glue running down one of the dorsal plates right here at the back. Huh? All right, Nick. If you want to show the viewers. Watch out! Watch out! All right. Oh, Carter! <laughs> Huge! Right there. All right. You notice that there is. You see that? You see that glue running down right there? My finger's pointing. Uh huh? And. Uh, the, the dorsal plates were put on there, you know, they were, when they made the figure. And, okay, and then another thing I noticed about it, uh, there's a crack on uh, one, of, uh, one of his massive feet because 
I noticed that yesterday. I was like, it's not that bad. It, this figure basically, it, 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 there's not, there's nothing remotely wrong with it really. The only thing is I noticed was that the, there was a crack in it, and then there, you know, there was paint running down one of the dorsal plates. Uh -huh. So, all right. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna uh, be doing a repaint of this figure. We're gonna try to do them as best we can to make them look exactly like Godzilla uh, uh, from that movie, Burning Godzilla. And we're gonna, uh, Nick is gonna be doing the the, the teeth. He's Go gonna ahead. make them sharp, actually. He's gonna have more talons like he did on the movie. It's kind of explain to them a little bit, Nick, what you're gonna be doing. Yeah, that's where. He has to look sharp teeth like in the movie. It's kind of like, like a Yeah, but what are you going to use to make them, Nick? Well, we're going to use some kind of a Play-Doh or something. Making. Yeah, and I want to I wanna show um, some. I'm going to show. I'm going to do a bit. Uh, a, we're going to be doing size comparison right now. So I'm going to show you guys what Nick has done with some of these figures. Because, oh, you know, overall, years and years of moving, they, they get, I mean, you get a lot of wear and tear. Mm -hmm. Okay, our first size comparison is Godzilla. Godzilla, the 1985 Imperials Godzilla. Okay, um, I want before I, I do the size comparison. Okay, I want to show you guys what he did with the finger. Okay, see how that finger is completely green and there's like a really white color on the nail. Right. He did that with uh, with what did he do with Plato, right? Yeah, Plato. That's fair. Oh my God, that is awesome. I love what he did with it. Because, like I said, with with years of abuse of moving around, you know, moving stuff around, I've been uh, we're, we're kind of gypsies, you know, my family, myself, or when I was a kid, we were gypsies, so we moved around a lot, okay, and that's probably why his, uh, you know, his fingers came off. All right, let's do a size comparison. Yeah. All right. That. Okay, let's put them together towards the camera, and he's 13 inches tall. 14 inches tall, and just look at it. he he looks a lot like Godzilla Jr. from the movie compared to him. That's correct. And let's put him facing like this. Forward. forward. And as you can see, Burning Godzilla is just freaking massive. And he is so awesome. I love this guy. Really, he's kind of like the teddy bear I never had as a child. Really, right? That's right. <laughs> Yeah. You know when you uh, when we grow when we were growing up, we kind of wanted something like that, but we never really had it. We, we you know we could we couldn't get you could not get figures like this back when I was growing up. So yeah. okay, I just want to make a point of that, anyways. Um, the next size comparison, I'm gonna get uh, a Trypticon from Titan, the Titans Return Trypticon, and we're gonna show you guys exactly how big this guy really is. Right. All right, bring Chip the kind over here. There he is. All right, let's put them facing each other. All right. Oh, you okay? All right. Okay, I just trying to put them as close so they can see the size differential. Okay, Godzilla 1995 is about uh, just a little bit of. Um, around his jawline. I don't know if you guys can see that. Because um, yeah. this guy is really heavy vinyl. Like when I looked him up, it's kind of, it's kind of lifting up a, a five pound or ten pound weight, you know. That's right. So, all right, let's put him uh, going sideways, I mean, facing forward. I'm sorry. Yeah. And they look really awesome together. I really, I, I'm. Yeah. So, I, if you guys don't have this guy, Trypticon. Titans Returns, you got to get him. He's amazing. Just remember, look up online. Yeah. And I oh, I bought this guy from eBay also. I bought both these guys from eBay. Correct. And, you know, um, usually they sell, they sell that kind of stuff for just insane prices. Okay, so as you can see, this he's, a, he's actually a bit taller than Burning Godzilla, but you can see how big Burning Godzilla really is because of the size differential. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, do another uh, figure comparison. Another figure comparison. We're gonna do with Rukadon from uh, Ultraman Towards the Future. Yeah. And he's a nine-inch figure next to him. What? 
a nine inch figure and as you can see the let's take a look at them together okay all right it looks it it looks like a uh, one of those you know you guys remember that that old cartoon gargoyles next to it it just it looks uh, like a, a it looks really funny next to him because he's so just so damn big yeah all right and now this uh pacific rim uprising Akuja. this is a 12 inch figure yeah pvc figure that's right and look at look at the let's look at them together and put them together a little bit and look at just look at it. It looks like a little scorpion <laughs> compared to him. It looks just really small compared to him. Yeah, but and he, he goes, can swallow them. Yeah, he could. Yeah, he could probably swallow them and get in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or step belly. on him. Step on him. All right. Okay. What next? Uh, uh, the next uh, comparison is going to be Bandai Creation Mecha Godzilla to you. That's All right. right. Okay, and the, uh, I kind of got the same, oh, um, the, if not the same figure, but the, the same quality as this other guy on YouTube. There's, there's not a whole lot of uh, bootleg reviews of this figure because maybe people are, 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 are thinking, maybe people, they might get a backlash for buying it. I don't care. I think it's so awesome. I might one of these days be able to afford it to buy the actual X Plus version if it's still around anyways. That's right. And it's very expensive. This, I mean, that one is about $500, almost $600, That's and right. over uh, $2,000 in some uh, right. parts as well. So, okay, and uh, Kiyu is 12 inches tall, and next to Burning Godzilla, he looks like a little boy. A little baby. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the little baby. little <laughs> baby. <laughs> We have this uh, Godzilla 2001 NECA figure and this Bandai Creations Godzilla 1968, and it they look they look just adorable with him. Yeah, this uh, okay. this one <laughs> I got for Christmas. I got it for Christmas. All right, okay. As you can see, they look, they look like two little babies next to him, and that's right. All right. Okay, what's that? Sorry about that, guys. All right, the final size comparison. Uh, we're gonna compare these Transformers, uh, the Protective Bots. This is actually a bootleg version of the G Generation One Protective Bots. That's that, correct. That's the same, probably the same people that that made him. And this is correct. the actual uh, Optimus Prime Generation One, 1984 Optimus Prime. And look at, just look at the size difference. He's it's. Pretty much comparing them like to Triptychon or something like that. Okay. Uh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so tell me what you think about this video. Put a, put a like below this video. Tell me what you think of this review. What Do you have this bootleg version? Do you have the X Plus version? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this figure. And please stay tuned because I will be doing, we will be doing, me and Nick will be doing the repaint version of this figure and I will be uploading it That's so right. I, I just want to kind of show you guys on uh, what it's going to look like after we're through it so I decided to do this video first to kind of show you guys a little bit what um, what it looks like you know kind of like a before or after picture so uh, yeah. support this blog subscribe thanks thank you everybody who's been watching my videos thank you everybody for, for, uh, for who's been subscribing That's and right. let's try to Let's try to increase the viewership and um, and let's try to get more subscribers. Tell your friends about this blog. I am the YouTube alternative, and I am still your reviewer. And and I just want to say a uh, uh, final thoughts of this figure. Okay, what do you think about it, Nick? I think that looks amazing, and it's totally awesome that a Godzilla from the movie in 1995. God love destroy the burning All right. My final thoughts on this figure. Okay, this is, yeah, this is a bootleg, and I could really care less, and it doesn't really matter to me because I think I got my money's worth for this guy. He is just amazing. Just the size. Okay, I'm going to stand up. All right. I'm going to stand up.
Get back a little baby. Little baby. Alright, so you guys can really see. <laughs> you guys can really see how big he really is. Yeah. And just look at the size of this guy. He is uh, like actually bigger than a, uh, a newborn infant. It looks funny though. That's right. All right. So um, I know it's not fresh, but collect vinyl. This is where it's at, people. And be looking out for my Captain Marvel. Lastly, be looking out for my Captain Marvel movie review. I will be doing that pretty soon, as well as my Godzilla vs. Megalon Godzilla reviews video. Okay, I, I'm gonna. If you guys want to see, because of copyright um, laws, I'm not able to show you guys the full version of that video, which I came up with. I came with a really awesome intro. I came with an outro also that looks really cool. But because of copyright laws, I was I'm not able to upload the version that I want to show you guys. But if you guys want to see that version, please hit me up. On the comments below, if you want to see that, be watching out for it because it's really funny. I really did. I really had an amazing time making it, especially with the music and the a little kind of Godzilla tribute I came up with. Okay, so uh, once again, thank you for supporting this blog and be watching out for this uh, when we do the repaint of this figure. And yeah, to so upgrade it. No. Yeah, we're gonna be. This guy's gonna get a. This guy's gonna get a freaking upgrade, right? What, what do you think about that? Yeah, what do you think about that? Yeah? Good, Godzilla. You on the camera, what do you think? Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, see so you guys. Bye.